Tang Mo Noyo. Well, Barida sounds familiar. We yes. know this element from traditional mm. tango. Of course, because let's understand something very clear. Tango Nuevo is not a new dance. Can you hear me? It's the new way of combining the pieces of the dance tango argentino. New possibilities, new musicality perhaps, new form of the visual art. But the elements are still the same because you have two legs for the leader, two legs for the follower, one torso, and you have multiple ways to interact. So, barrida, the foot sweep or arrastre, another way to form it, to call it, is a typical movement, but we will combine it in a way that it's less traditional. Perhaps even combine it with a medio soltada. Mm, a refreshed barrida. If you want to really practice classical barridas in a traditional tango, you can refer to the tango method that I had recorded earlier with Silvina Tse. So we will not put too much attention into the exercises, but we will dance one only exercise that is based on the idea of isolating the movement of your leg from the movement of your torso. Here is a very cool and strange way to practice barrida just to understand that the movement of the leg is not affecting your axis. So when you are moving your leg, you will pass it through position feet together, close your knees and your thighs, and continue till full extension. Yes, there is some level of grounding the movement on the standing leg. We are not here upright. We are lowering the body in order to make this movement. But what's important is there is no leaning, and there is no pushing or pulling in that movement. Now, of course, it would be more practical if we practice the barrida with Elvira's weight over the left foot, Michael's weight over the left foot, where both of us facing opposite directions with our hips, but the same position for our torso, facing each other, and in a light contact with our feet. And we will exercise me moving her leg out and her moving my leg through and out. For now we alternate. I move the leg and then she generates the movement and I follow the leg. How is it possible that our legs stay connected or our feet stay connected? What's the trick here? Well, when Michael is moving my foot from the front to the back, I'm not moving my leg immediately towards the direction of the movement. Yes, I do move it from my hip, but with my foot, I'm always going into the foot of my partner. So there is a bit of a compression, compression, a bit of a resistance. A resistance in this case is a good word, yeah? Let's see this again. Elvira is on her left. foot, I'm on my left, and we start connected with our feet. And as I move, my knee flexes and her knee flexes as well, but you see our knees are passing each other. So the movement is also very compact in our thigh. Yes. And I go till full extension. And then she will take over. And the next movement happens. And then I will take over. And this brings you to the famous bicicleta or the bicycle movement that you can also practice but we will not focus on it in this particular tutorial. Instead, we will offer you a movement that comes from the front ocho of the lady. Very nice and slow, so you have time for projection or extension before the next movement. And what I need to do is catch Elvira's foot with my open step, in this case with my right foot, before she transfers the weight. Create a movement of the barrida, in other words, change the position of her leg, lead her a little pasada or pass, so she steps over, but ground down again, so she can make exact same projection. I'm going to repeat the catch, but this time with my left foot. Sweep the left into her open step, lead her to pass, and as she pass, I quickly change my feet to catch with my right, and we can play this game. One, two, and uh, one, 
two, and uh, one, and two. And uh, if you move your partner a little bit and she changes up to the point mid-step between two feet, it is not a problem as long as we don't fully change the weight. So you can add rhythm not only in your feet but also in your body. And see? With a little bit faster motion. One and one and two and a one and two and a one and two and a one and two. As you can see, what I'm doing is very important. I'm catching, moving, changing, catching, moving, changing. I'm not moving my axis. This allows me to be fast with my feet and create an effect. Maybe we can demonstrate it to a particular music that has rhythm, yes? Yes. And also, I would like to see your rhythm on your feet. My rhythm is... Because it's quite interesting. My rhythm is... One, two and a one. Two and a one. I am gravitating towards syncopa. Da, da, bim, ba, bim, bam, bam. But with a slow tango, you will now understand it more clearly. How about that movement? It's a very, very cool combination of barrida and medio soltada. I suggest you look for El Pulpo and Luisa. El Pulpo was a very original dancer in 1990s. He was very avant-garde and progressive together with his partner Luisa. They built a career on Barridas, enganches, and slow moving. Really, he was one of the pioneers of the Tango Nuevo early movement. Very different form, definitely not for everybody, but there is so much interesting material. You can study that dance for another five years and you will have plenty to learn.